Hi everybody, welcome to IndyCar on the 14th of May. I'm Gordon Ross. Two items of news for you today, and uh, both of them good, and both of them regarding um, Scottish employment figures. First of all, the unemployment figures for Scotland published today show a continued downward spiral. In fact, for the first time since 1971, uh, unemployment has reached rock bottom, and Scotland is now... Uh, got its lowest unemployment figure since that time. For women, 1971 was uh, the last year that unemployment was this low. For men, 1975. So the unemployment rate for men is around 3.9%. Uh, and uh, most of this put down to the success of Scottish businesses in recruitment. But also remember there has been uh, a general liberalisation of working hours with things like zero-hour contracts, a lot of part-time employment, a lot of people working two and three jobs at a time to make ends meet. However, I'm not criticising that necessarily, but the fact that people do need to take on three jobs at a time to make ends meet is something we need to look at. However, generally speaking, uh, the economic and the business figures for Scotland look extremely healthy at the moment. And none other than uh, David Mundell, the Secretary of State for Scotland, was jumping in straight away today to comment that uh, it's all because the Tories have managed uh, the British economy so well that there's so many jobs in Scotland, which I have to say, I nearly sprayed my cornflakes over the, the breakfast table this morning when I read that. Uh, Mundell is claiming that the £1.3 uh, billion pound city deals that the Tories have pioneered where they are giving money to um, cities across the UK to invest in their infrastructure. He claims that this is what's creating the jobs in Scotland. Whereas what we know is true for certain is that it's actually the businesses in Scotland that are creating the employment, nothing to do with the Conservative Party. In 1971, Margaret Thatcher hadn't yet taken power, and in 1971, the Tories hadn't started the... Uh, uh, the systematic destruction of Scotland's heavy industries, driving the unemployment rate in Scotland in the mid-80s up to over 10%. Now, it's worth remembering that it was the Conservative Party which caused the greatest unemployment figures uh, since the Great Depression. And that was due to Thatcher's policy of de-industrialising the whole of the UK. In Scotland, that hit very hard because Scotland was a manufacturing powerhouse, it was the place where everything was built, ships, trains, cars, buses, you name it, all kinds of heavy engineering was done here, mining industry was, was big, steel making was big, all of that swept away in the Thatcher years. So for David Mundell to claim that it's Tory policies that have brought back employment, uh, employment levels like this to Scotland is utter garbage, utter nonsense. It is nothing to do with the, the Conservative Party, it's to do with Scottish uh, entrepreneurs and business people who have built up new industries in Scotland using new business models and using and creating new industries from the ashes of the ones which the, the Conservatives destroyed. So we've got, as you know, barely got much of a shipbuilding industry, but thanks to people like um, like Jim McCall, who's the head of Clyde Blows, also owns the shipyard at Ferguson's, we now have a cutting edge shipbuilding industry which is creating the first hydrogen powered ships in the world. So we are fighting back and the, Scot the Scottish economy is responding because of that, not because of anything that the Tories have done or not done. Which leads me on to another story of industrial success. Um, it's reported today that West, the Glasgow brewery based at the, uh, the old Templeton carpet factory facing the Glasgow Green, that the, the brewery company started out as a, a microbrewery and now employs, uh, if, I'm, if memory serves me correctly, I think they employ somewhere in the region of 90 people now, I might be wrong. But anyway, the company has become so successful as a brewery that they are now planning to share their uh, success with all of their members of staff who've been with them for more than a year. So all members of staff, regardless of their position in West, uh, if they have been with the company for more than 12 months, will automatically get the maximum number of shares allowed by law every year. It's about three and a half, I think, th maybe wrong, three, three point, I, th I think three, oh, just trying to get the figure right. I think it's 3,600 pounds worth of shares in West will go to each member of staff every year. And the boss of West has said that 
rather than selling the company for millions of pounds, which it's worth, and then him retiring, he's decided, or that he and his directors have decided to share their success with, as he says, the people who helped them create it, in other words, the workforce. So by sharing the profits in this way and issuing shares, uh, they are making their workforce not only better off because these people will now own shares in the business, but being shareholders, they'll also have a, a say in how the business is run and they will get a dividend on their shares when they make profits. So again, it's a way of sharing the success of a business in Scotland and it's this kind of profit sharing uh, and ownership of the business being spread around the workforce that is likely to form the basis of a new Scottish economy because we, we know that the current form of capitalism where a very tiny number of people are making a huge sum of money while their employees and the people who buy their products are basically getting poorer. That model we know no longer works. And so in Scotland, it seems that there's more of a trend now towards profit sharing uh, and also to do with um, uh, employee ownership. And employee ownership, if you, if you start a company and everybody owns a bit of it, then that makes that person much more uh, tied to the firm and it makes them far more loyal to the firm and also makes them want that firm to succeed more so therefore they work better and the productivity increases. Uh, and for West to be doing this is is great. This is, this is exactly the kind of initiative that's needed in Scotland at the moment. So that's about it for today. I was wanting just to keep it fairly short today and not too political, but just to remind you that whatever David Mundell says, he really is not responsible for the unemployment figures in Scotland being so low. That is largely down to the people who have built companies in Scotland and continue to expand them and make them successful. It's also down to the fact that the Scottish economy isn't run by the Conservative Party, it's run by the SNP and it's managed by the SNP. And it's the policies of the SNP which have made Scotland successful, not the Tories. The Tories did their best to wreck the Scottish economy. Thatcher drove industries out of Scotland and tried to make the entire UK into one massive white collar uh, office where everybody would be an office worker and everybody would be middle class and nobody would make anything at all. I'm glad to say that she failed because you can't run an economy like that and the only reason that the Scottish economy is so strong is because it has kept manufacturing of all kinds and it's di divested its manufacturing in all kinds of different directions so that there is less risk of industries closing down in recession because we have so many different types of industries working in so many different markets across the world. Something which sadly uh, went past the Tories when they were planning the English economy, which is now stuttering along and struggling because it doesn't have enough manufacturing businesses. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, but again, a good news story for Scotland. The lowest unemployment since 1971 for women and 1975 for men is something to be proud of. And a company such as West, a well-known Glasgow brewery, to be rewarding their employees with shares in the company every year, I think, is a sign of things to come. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.